It was a trap. Perhaps. Is this the Immaterium? If it is, we must move quickly. To where? We must find Kalgar. The dangerous will is inescapable. Even now we walk upon ancient paths laid out for us before the first mortal true breath. So I took a that break for the night, and here I am again. Everything is frozen in time. Neat detail. Okay, neat details. Mostly. Our brothers, I hear them. Do not trust your senses. Lord Kalgar left you to rot in the Death Watch for a century, Brother Titus. Coward! Cease cowering behind illusions! Make a bulwark of your hatred, brothers. <laughs> I smell fear. I'm sure you do. Silence this heretic. One last dance before the strings are cut. So well. This is fun. This will 
tried and failed to save them. Three quarters health. Oh, good. Oh, hey, ammo cat. That's real nice of you. I need to be revived here soon. The demon lord. Well, that was kind of weird. Why'd you just stand in place? Trying to do. Oh, Kimura's low half health. Cool. Do you pronounce his name?
Ow. Yeah, the first time wasn't annoying enough, apparently. I need it. For help. Of course. Ow. Ow. That time it went well. Nimra. Are you gonna find me or is this thing going to? Oh, I see. Now that I'm actually paying attention to the health bar during this. Words to you on Talasa. Speak them. My lord. Speak them, or be slain for an imposter. Rules should never make a prisoner of intelligence. Titus, it is good to see you. The sorcerer's power wavers. He is vulnerable. See how his domain weakens as he does. There is only one place left for him to hide. Let us dig out the heretic. Okay. I see him, inside the stream. He prepares for another attack. It is the artifact, it must be. There is almost limitless power within that shard. Then we must make haste, brothers. Naturally.
And I don't think Sneak is going to help you out there. Like you think he is. I can help, I suppose. Lieutenant Demetrian Titus, your decisive actions have saved this system from ruin. And so it is with great pride that I now present you with an honor worthy of your deeds. The laurels of victory. Let every warrior of the Adeptus Astartes see that here stands the true measure of a son of Gilliman. For the glory of Ultramar! Courage and honor! Company dismissed. Forgive me, brother, that it took me so long to bring you home. My lord, that is... Fierce was my wrath when I learned of your detention. In their arrogant suspicion, the Inquisition failed to recognize the truth. That no evil will ever overcome a devotion such as yours. Thank you, my lord. There is a mission. It will take you away from the second company for a time. As you command, chapter master. The brother chaplain will brief you. It was he that suggested you for the task. My lord, the sword of Kalf is ready to depart. Thank you, captain. My ship will convey you to your destination. I should be glad of your company. Titus, it has been an honor 
It has indeed, my captain. I hear you'll be taking your leave of us. Not for too long, I hope. Emperor guide you. And you, sir. Brothers, I am called to serve elsewhere. You'll be missed, my lord. I will not forget the blood we have drawn together. Nor shall we. I owe you both a debt. You have restored my faith in brotherhood. We shall await your return. Courage and honor. Courage and honor. Titus. Lord Kalgar has informed you of your assignment. Good. I will brief you en route. You are joining us. I am. Very good, my lord. You have done well. You have won the trust of your brothers. And of the chapter master. But know this, Titus. The stain of suspicion never completely fades. I will be watching you. Should you falter on the path for even a moment. I will show no mercy. Leandros. My lord, it is time. So, that's the end of the campaign, I guess. So, uh, thoughts on the, on the game, I suppose, or at least the campaign. Well, uh, it was fun. I'm really a tad short uh, for what I was expecting slash hoping for, but... Oh, maybe there's more. Playing this on PS5, so graphics, you know, the graphics are good. That's all that needs to be said for them. Warhammer lore, uh, yeah, I, I, I it appears to fit, you know, at least from my perspective. Granted, I. Somehow mistook Death Watch for Grey Knights at the very beginning, despite uh, all indications, or at least, okay, several indications, saying, Hey, this guy is Death Watch. He's part of the Death Watch company. On me. And somehow I'm not surprised to see that the chaplain didn't trust us. For much. Uh, the controls were uh, kind of easy to get used to. Well, at least for the most part. Granted, I probably wasn't playing uh, the game entirely correctly, but I thought they were pretty good. I admit there were a few times where I, I was uh, trying to use the non-existent motion controls. Hey, I, assuming the 
weapon tools don't exist in this game. And B, uh, a holdover from Splatoon. Yep, I'm still playing that in the middle of this. Amongst other games. Now we never did run into the sick enough or anyone from the from the other army that I have painted and built up. Remember several episodes ago when I mentioned that I would uh, point that army out? We never ran into them. In short, Sisters of Battle. The, the Adeptus Subortus. If I may hey, pronounce it right correctly and be getting it right. But, yeah, I, I have a small army of uh, Sisters of Battle. <laughs> I decided to paint them in, in the scheme of the Squid Sisters. Why would I do that? I don't know. I just did. Well, not every uh, sister of Val figuring I've painted or matches that uh, paint scheme. Um, I, I actually have a, uh, a hospitaler, I believe uh, she's called. Or the figure. Yeah, the figurine. The hospitaler herself, I. I have to take a look, but I believe I painted her to be on the Squid Sister theme. But I know the sister she's reading Last Rites to, I gave Gilded Armor. Actually, I have that figurine in my room right now. Let me go grab that. I'm back to, yeah, uh, yeah, the hospital herself, uh, red cloak, but yeah, those are the Squid Sisters, primary colors. The sister, she's, like I said, reading last right to, as I said, gilded armor. I, I went far enough to, uh, um, make it look like, yeah, uh, some blood was coming out to, uh, dying, said dying sister's, uh, bullet wounds, too. Yeah, I love the blood for the blood yard paint. No, I think that I never did bring up uh, the paint scheme from uh, my main army, the Atrikari. Eh, blue and silver. That's because that's those are the colors I chose when I first started to paint, uh, paint up an army. It worked. But no one else I played with had that paint scheme. I went on a similarly painted there, didn't I? Oh, because I'm laying the crest just for all. Yeah. yeah the, game, the game's fine. The music is well fitting. I'm nine I'm censored and I missed quite a few uh uh text logs or uh, uh voice recordings I call them. I are they data slates? You know those things. I don't think I've found nearly enough of them. That's all I got to say about the story, really. Uh, I do want to go in and uh, uh, try some of the uh, side missions. Well, one, because I failed at one of them during, I believe it was episode four. Now let me put my notes here. Yep, it was episode four. 
So I want to try that again, and I want to try some of the other side missions as well. And I still want to uh, try and uh, do some online play as well. Which I do have a uh, PlayStation Plus gift card to use just for that. So I'm thinking it's going to get me one month, maybe two. That should be more than plenty. That's a big ol' hopefully, though. This is going on for quite a while now, and I don't want to skip this, because all these people had something to do with working on the game, and they, they deserve recognition. So, yeah, that's why it's still here. I might as well go, uh, go on to uh, talk about some of the painting, I uh, or painting uh, jobs that I've done, if you can call them that, purely for fun. But I have painted plenty. Well, I guess plenty of space marines is the best race, but I've played, painted quite a few out, at the very least. Eh, some chaos, some uh, harlequins as well. The space marines, I, I, I don't have a real uh, set in mind. Maybe because I, how do I put this up? I don't, we never did have any real indication of playing with a Space Marine army. Which I know that's what, that they're the main folks that the Warhammer 40k uh, universe uh, uh, centralizes around. I don't know why, but I just never felt much of a need to play as them. I have a couple of times uh, for Kill Team, but that's about it really. That said, uh, I had no real, like I said, I had no real, uh, paint scheme in mind. So, I just painted whatever, uh, I felt like painting. I've got two Space Marines that I painted, well, technically three. Uh, three with the Harlequin, uh, style paint job. Well, it didn't turn out all that well. I'm so happy I did it. But it can be really hard to paint the Harlequin Patcher on some of those surfaces. It's not exactly, not exactly the best idea I've ever had, but I'm still happy that I did it. And I, I, I've also got some of those in my uh, room here, or uh, office as well, personal office. I don't want to get out of my chair again just to go take a look at him. But from where I'm standing, uh, or I'm sorry, sitting. I see an orange one that I feel because I wanted to try and paint an orange space marine. It turned out all right. But I also see a gray knight. I bought a box of gray knight paladins. Uh, some time ago. Purely to paint one figure specifically. For a very specific reason. So I had plenty of uh, uh, parts over, over from that. I, and I just uh, had fun with it as I saw fit. And I, I had to. I'd have to look for this figurine again, but I took a Green Knight Paladin and made it look like a Drukari uh, homunculus. Managed to get hold of him and perform some experiments on him. 
with a bunch of spare parts that I coincidentally happen to have from uh, pain engines. I'm not entirely certain I can uh, do a picture of that. In part because trying to take a picture of figurines is not exactly my strong suit. And in part because it's kind of, uh, well, I'd say bloody, but. Hey, look at this series! There's plenty of blood. Yeah, plenty of blood in this game. I'd probably be okay on that front. However, at the same time, uh, I created that particular, uh, uh figurine, uh, when COVID was starting to really kick off. But I had plenty of spare time on my hands. Oh, well, let's see. And hey, there's another, uh, uh, Another uh, figurine up here that I have. Uh, it's it's a, sis a uh, Sisters of Battle figure. I forget her name. The one that comes with the, uh, the Harlequin Tiganel. Uh, that's it, too. I can't remember her name off the top of my head. But I decided to paint her. Uh, after the character Undine from the webcomic Seatless Domain. Uh, really because I wanted, wanted to uh, go that route. And I made Kaiganil uh, look like he had to uh, buy some clothes from Bozo the Clown's Discount Clown Clothing Emporium. I mean, he looks like he's semi-permanently pissed off anyways. So why not make it look like he's pissed off about having to wear such horny clothes. I'm also a firm believer that if you can shoehorn something that sounds relatively reasonable in a universe that is painted as being infinitely vast, you should be able to run with it. In the case of uh, poor Kaganil there, uh, the sister of Ali's trying to uh, escort to the Black Library he got him into a firefight, literally fire fight, and he had to replace his clothes as a result of it. So he wants those replaced. Until then, he's wearing the, the uh, discount crime clothing. And those brothers with the Harley. The uh, Harlequin paint job? I just like to say that they wanted to try and infiltrate a Harlequin troop. Yeah, they don't exactly think they're bringing a plan all the way through. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, I see a Chaos Paint Engine that I intentionally gave a uh, Metroid style paint job. That one took a while. And technically not fully completed. There's a couple parts that could still use uh, a wash over. But as it is, I'm happy with how it turned out. Take a look at my shelf. Oh yeah, I see a uh, a Space Marine captain that I painted yellow to try and paint one yellow. That turned out about as well as one would expect. I'm not a pro in any way, shape, or form. How long are these credits? I mean, at this point, I'm probably just talking to myself anyways. So... I also see, uh... 
a couple of Chaos Marines that I painted based on the uh, based, based on uh, a picture of the COVID virus the virus itself. You know the one that looks gray with some bits of yellow, a couple oranges, one or two bits of red. I took inspiration and painted a Chaos Space Marine with that scheme, and a Death Guard uh, with that same paint scheme as well. Like, you know those Space Marine Heroes uh, figurine sets? The ones where you can either buy a box for a full set or just buy one individual instead? I bought one of those, uh, the, uh, th the third series, the, uh, yeah, the uh, Death Guard, the ones that uh, worship Nurgle, and, and uh, decided to call uh, them a COVID Marine. Fun painting that. That honestly, I thought it was fitting at the time. Well, I'm still out of COVID, so yeah, I still think it's fitting. And I do have uh, one keeper of secrets because I thought it would be fun to paint one of those. Despite being a Drukari player and not willing to say the name of she who thirsts. But I use a... Uh, well, I use a couple, one of the spare parts for her. Uh, uh, well, how do I put this? Uh, Keeper of Secrets comes with, uh, with a uh, couple different heads that you can choose which one you want to use, right? So, I use one of them for the figure itself and decided to save the other one for later. Well, I did. And, I, I can't remember her name. Lilith Fesser. When uh, Lilith was uh, reintroduced from uh, Games Workshop line, and it wasn't the best looking figure, I'll admit, but I took Lilith herself, very carefully separated her from the Eldari-like ruins, and and placed her on the Spare Keeper of Secrets head, and made it look like uh, she recently decapitated said uh, Keeper of Secrets. I don't have any of the blood on there, I don't think. Well, I know that's a Lilith, uh, uh, when I had her drying, she is a wee bit lopsided, so it didn't turn out the best. But again, I'm happy I did what I did. So I think it just gives her just a, it, it just makes her look better, you know? And I'll remind you see this. There's another conversion job I did where I took a uh, Age of Sigmar character. Oh, I forget his name. But that kind of looks like a Treant. I converted it with some uh, spare uh, Gary Incubi parts and made him look, A, look like a Incubus. B, made him. Look like uh, most of his flesh is placed with with uh, armor, and C may it look like he really uh, messed up a uh, chaos space marine. One that were ships, you guessed it, she who thirsts. That one took a while. And again, it's got quite a bit of blood. On it, but knowing this game in this series, it's kind of fitting. And I say this not knowing if my future self is actually going to post pictures, because we've been seeing the same pictures of, of this guy, and the chaplain who hates us, and this same tyranny, over and over again. 
and some background picks. All that said, uh, I've actually never painted a Tyranid. Never tried. And not counting the Space Marines or the uh, Sisters of Battle, I've not painted any uh, any other uh, Imperium figures. No Cadians. No Mechanicus. I have painted a couple Necrons, though. Oh, hello! Let's see. The fight has just begun! Team about in another game mode. There's Operations and Eternal War. Okay. But I've been yapping and yapping and yapping. And I have no idea. Like I said, I have no idea if my future self is going to uh, post pictures. I say, assuming no one listened to me yet. Anyway, there's Operations and Eternal War. For now, I all I can do is operations because I'm still offline. The other is trying to do Inferno again. There's the Capitation. Box. Liberatis. I probably thought you that. Reliquary. Full of a Terrace. And Ballistic Engine. There's Eternal War. The PvP game mode that I am going to suck ass at. Hey, I'm being honest. I'm only S rank in Splatoon. How do you think this is going to go? Yeah, I'm going to uh, take a break for now and uh, work my way through uh, these operations. At least that's the plan. So, uh,. Yeah, that's it for this episode. My name is Brian Six, and I thank you for your time.